Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today we are somewhere that we've never been before. If I'm gonna be honest, Nate and I kinda came up with this one. There was a Toys R Us that we had never been to, and then we're like, we might as well go to a bunch of other places as well. So we're like, sure, and the first place we're gonna be going to is Breakaway Cards? Breakaway Sports Cards. Sports Cards, and they also have Pokemon. Yeah, so there's a lot of cool stuff. Uh, yeah, so there's a Toys R Us we're gonna check out today, there's a GameStop around here we're gonna check out, and then there is another collectible shop, which right. I don't remember the name of. I don't either, but we'll show it later yeah. in the video. Oh, and Noah's also here, so let's get started. Okay, so we've made it inside and I gotta say guys this is amazing Look at all the cards they've got and down here I'm noticing some of the sets that I haven't haven't opened up yet So now that I'm seeing them in stores I kind of want to crack mine open like this Pikachu one as well as this other celebrations one with the figure in the middle It's so amazing. They also have more binders than I have ever seen and then oh take a look guys They even have Pokemon pops and now I'm gonna be honest I do already have these ones but Psyduck the 25th anniversary Pikachu and Meowth are pretty cool to see and now here is something that I haven't seen seen ever I think like a lot of these card sleeves and deck boxes and then this one over here this 25th anniversary one where it's actually made of wood and now guys also over on this side they have a lot of the booster boxes and I'm even noticing the cosmic eclipse one up there which I do have one sealed and I will not be opening it I don't know I just like to keep it how it is because I've already opened up one in the past and I think for today I might be going for this over here guys the brilliant stars build and battle box it looks really cool now Nate I know you've been looking at some stuff I think today I'm gonna go with an astral radiance booster box I'm oh yeah pretty much done my Lost Origins set. Where is it? Oh, down here, right? That one? Uh, right up top there. Where there. am I looking? Oh, uh, oh, booster box. Sorry, I was yeah. looking at the Elite Trainer boxes. Yeah, no, right up there. So I'm thinking I'm going to go with that one today and start chipping away at a new set. It, it would be fun. Okay, so we're out of the store, and I gotta say, that was an amazing one. Like, you guys saw, they had some really great stuff, and we all ended up grabbing at least something. Yeah, I was gonna say, some more than others, but... We all got something in the end of the day, so it should be fun. We'll yeah, crack them up you got the full booster box. I got the full booster box. I got my thing, and then Noah, you ended up grabbing a Silver Tempest. What was it? One of those build and battle boxes? Kinda, yeah. It's still fun. And so now, everybody, let's get over to our next stop, which is going to be GameStop. Oh, it is way too dark. Ah, there we go. Okay, so we have made it to the mall where the GameStop is, and I actually found out, because Nate didn't tell me which one this was, that there's also a Conspiracy Comics inside, and this location is the one that has most of the pops, so maybe we'll be able to go there as well, if I see it quick enough. I don't know. He's got us on a tight schedule today. We've got a lot of places to go to. Oh no, 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 no. This is where the Conspiracy Comics used to be and now it's a personalized ornament shop? What the heck is this? Okay, so I guess we're not gonna be going here today, but the good news is we came for the GameStop and it's still here, so let's go over there. All right, so this is a little bit better, guys. We actually have some Funko Pops for today and I gotta say, there is some interesting stuff. Like down here, they've got the Ja Morant. I think this is the... Yeah, the card one. This one's pretty cool. The Port uh, Pops trading card. I'm blanking on the name here. What is it? It's uh, oh, Panini. That's the one. Anyways, pretty cool to see. And then I'm also noticing here that they don't just have Pops. They've also got some of the brand new Naruto U2s. I saw Sakura here, and then I see Naruto eating noodles, and I might have to get one of them. I mean, this one does look pretty cool. And then taking a look around a little bit more, I'm noticing they've got like the G.I. Joe box, me with Skull Rock, which is pretty cool. And then down here, they've got the Deku Skate deck. And then I think besides that, oh, they've got some of the hockey ones. Is this one new? I think so. This is also, I believe, the first ever Seattle Kraken to get a figure, which is pretty cool. And then up here a little bit higher, they've got some of these Stranger Things ones, like Robin, as well as some of the ones from The Matrix, Cowboy Bebop. And then I think, yeah, they've got a couple of the Care Bears here. And I know that they have Chases, but it doesn't seem like they're here. I mean, it makes sense. They probably go pretty quickly if they do get them. And then up a little bit higher, I'm noticing some other ones that are like actually on sale, like Penny Proud, as well as Red Dagger and Meek, which are honestly pretty cheap for here, considering they're normally like, $15 or if they're exclusive, like pretty much 20 And so honestly, some pretty cool stuff. I'm just not seeing anything I really need for my collection. So for now, I think we're just going for that Naruto. Oh, now hold on guys, take a look in here. Mmm, I might have to get one of them. The bag on plush, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. There's a bunch of the turtles here. Ooh, Mikey's having a little bit of trouble there, but it's the U2's plush. These are really cool. I think they have all of them, if not most, because there's Splinter, and then we've also got, uh, looks like most of the set. I'm not seeing. There might be Shredders missing, and then one other one it looks like. But hey, still really cool to see because this is the first time I've ever seen these plush in person. All right, so we're out of the mall, and I gotta tell you guys about something pretty cool that I was able to get at a store that I did not expect to have anything that I would want. It was called Rock Zone, and I think you guys can kinda see what they had. Anyways, I couldn't film while I was inside, but I ended up getting a Funko product I didn't even know existed. So when we get back to the office, I'll show you guys way better because there is a lot of them in here. Oh, and by the way, all of it was $30, actually pretty cheap. And now it looks like I may be in the same parking 
parking lot, but we're not. We're actually over at our next store, which is this Toys R Us that we have never been to. I'm pretty excited about this. Because if you guys don't know, here in Canada, pretty much every Toys R Us gets like all of the exclusives because we don't have a lot of stuff. Like, I don't know, Walmart exclusives for some reason come here when we do have Walmart, as well as like Target and Box Lunch, as well as a bunch of convention exclusives. And it seems like most locations also get different things as well. So I am pretty excited to see what they've got. All right, so I made it to the section. I gotta show you guys, this section is looking great. And of course there are some figures that I see pretty much every time, but then like over here with all of the bigger ones, I like that they're together like this. And then they've got some of the Funko Gold as well as a bunch of the sports ones, Jeffrey up at the top. And then over here we see like Super Shredder, Biz Markie. Actually, here's all of the Rocks figures. I like how they're organized. And then as we get a little farther over, I'm seeing like some of the exclusive ones like Shuri as well as Carmen. And if I see, who was the one that I'm missing? Nakia, I will definitely be grabbing her today. I am just not seeing her yet. But now something that I did not expect to see is this one guys down here, Katara from Avatar. That is a really cool figure. Oh, and then down here, check this out. Let me slide this one back before we keep going. But they have this version of Regal. Oh my gosh, I love this thing. It's like completely iron for the iron anniversary. I like this thing a lot. And I think they only have one of them. And then, oh right, they also made a normal sized Drogon. That was pretty cool too. And then as I keep going here, I'm noticing that they've also got like the Buzz Lightyear one as well as, oh, check this one out guys. I believe, yeah, this is one that I did pick up on my local one. But it is the Harry Potter with Basilisk Tooth. And then, oh, below that, we've also got like Professor Owl as well as Kronk. And I was really hoping I was gonna be able to get something here, like maybe a different exclusive or just like a figure that I haven't seen yet. But I don't know. Oh, sorry. I just made a, I don't know what that noise was. But I did end up finding this one here, guys. Check that out, Groot. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Am I gonna be getting anything? Oh, and then I didn't even notice, guys. Behind me, they have some of the pop pins. And I think there might be, ooh. Ooh, take a look at this. They've got Sebulba. Now, as some of you guys might know, I've been trying to get a bunch of these Star Wars ones, and I know that they're a little bit pricier. Ooh, $26. But uh, I do need this one for my collection, so maybe I'm gonna be grabbing it today. Yeah, I might, why not? Okay, so I didn't end up getting any normal Funko Pops, but I did end up getting that Sebulba pin. And then also behind the counter, they had a bunch of sodas and they were limiting it to one per person. So I got three, Nate got three, and it should be fun when we get back to the office. It is really quiet in here, guys, but I wanna show you guys the next store that we came over here, which is Tistaminis. And they have a lot of like model kits as well as Funko Pops. I mean, this is of course the main reason I came, but they also have some Pokemon at the front and I wanna show you guys what they had, or actually what they have, you know, anyway. So down here, they've got like, it's a small, world some of the Christmas ones also this one here from attack on Titan I think this is the first time I've ever seen it or maybe they had it over at Toys R Us at one point I don't know and now Nate I, I saw you came up behind me there there was something that I thought you might enjoy was up at the top it, it was the Orissa yeah Ooh, and they also have some Warhammer ones too Ooh, that could be kind of fun yeah, what's the price on this one? Does it have one? Honestly, the box looks pretty decent. It might not be that bad. I know this figure doesn't go for like a crazy, crazy amount, but it is a really cool figure. And then I'm also noticing over here, guys, we've got a lot of the Pokemon as well as some older stuff too. Oh, you know what this one is? You're excused, bruh. Oh, I might have to get this one. <laughs> That's pretty funny. And then down here, guys, take a look at this. They've got like the uh, Sasuke over here as well as Batman, John Lennon. Uh, Goku and Flying Nimbus, so I'm probably gonna be getting something. Also, what is this one here from games? Is it Mortal Kombat? It is. Okay, that's an interesting one. And then also over here, I'm noticing some other ones like this Master Chief with Cortana, which is really cool. And then I also see Punisher Nemesis, which you don't see very often. But honestly, I think for now, this is probably gonna be the only one that I'm getting, but still a really cool figure. And I don't see a price on it, but it's probably like, what, $10, $15? I don't know. And actually now, Noah, you're behind me too. I'm noticing you're looking at some kits over. Oh yeah, they got a lot of Gundams. I don't know, are you thinking of getting one today? I'm looking, I'm looking. I haven't done one in a long time. No, you haven't. I think the last one that you did was maybe that really little one, was it? Or something uh, like that? Um, yeah, I don't remember the last one I did. Either way, they have a lot of them here. I'm sure you'd find something that you want, even if you don't pick one up. I mean, it is still really cool to see these. Oh, and now, hold on guys. I thought it was just Gundam stuff over here, but they actually have some Pokemon ones as well. No, they've got a Greninja. <gasps> no, there's a Greninja. I mean, this is, Garchomp too. this is pretty cool. You, I'll get it for you if you want. Which one? If you want. I'll do the Grenin Greninja, I think, is the wall. I mean, like, you really like Greninja. I feel like that would be a good one. I do. I also like Garchomp. I like them all. It's true. They're it's true. Nice. But um, I don't know. If you want it, I'll grab it for you. Okay, so we just got out of there, and I got to say, that store was amazing. It was a lot of, like, tabletop games like Warhammer 40K, but they also had some really cool Pokemon as well as Funko Pops, like you saw. And so I did end up grabbing the pop, and then I also got some stuff for my dad for Christmas as well as, like, two single cards. And if you guys want to take a look, that was their section there. Some pretty cool stuff. Okay, everybody, we made it over to our next stop. 
up, which is extreme collectibles, and it looks like we ran into, oh my gosh, hold on, they've got a Vaporeon. Okay, I was kind of gonna make fun of you two for like looking at the plush, but they've actually got some really good ones here. Oh my God. I've got <laughs> we both got so excited. This is, what is this? Hey guys, wanna play Pokemon? <laughs> Okay, now another reason that I wanted to come, guys, is because, of course, the Funko Pops. And I'm noticing that there are some interesting ones here, like Battlestar Galactica, but I don't think there's many new ones since the last time we had came. But I do really like the Wasabi No Ginger, as well as Gossel and Mallard. Emma Frost is pretty cool. Maximus is neat. But um, I don't know if there's anything that I really want to pick up, because like I feel like if there was anything, I got it last time I was here. But I'm still going to dig, though. All right, now, everybody, we've got one more stop for today, which is going to be the mall. And here we've got a couple couple different stores that I guess we could check. GameStop, Sunrise Records, we could go over to Showtime as well as Walmart. We've got some choices. Okay, so the first stop we came into was Sunrise Records and I gotta say, normally they don't have anything too crazy, but today they've got some good stuff. Like the first thing I found you guys was Kearney, they've got a bunch of Squid Game, the Ryu and Bright Bomber, some of the ones from Letterkenny, and then over here, I saw the Star Child as well as the Spaceman, both glow in the dark. And then a little bit lower, yeah, here is the one that I don't think ever came to New York Comic Con, but it is the Britney Spears one, which I don't think I'm gonna be getting, but it is really neat to see. Oh, and then I didn't even notice, guys, they also got in Zane, and I guess it makes sense that they're getting in a lot of the new Rocks ones, but yeah, this is the first time I've ever seen it. Pretty sick. Oh, and then down here in the corner, guys, I just noticed they have some of the Blacklight ones with the brand new Elvira, her holding the heart, and this is a pretty interesting one. Again, I don't know if I'm gonna be getting this one, but I did find a couple that I did want to grab. Where did they go? Up here. Okay. You guys are going to make fun of me for these ones, but I do think they're pretty cool. They've got the brand new Bella Portrait where she's sitting, and I believe this is from a specific music video, and then they also got in the pop album, and uh, yeah, I'm going to be getting it. Oh, and then of course with Christmas coming up, I figured I might as well show off these ones. They've got the Coca-Cola Santa as well as the 90s Coca-Cola Bear, and I believe the only one that I'm missing here is the flocked version. Actually, you know, Nate, I'm going to be honest, I don't know if they actually made a flocked version, but I swear there is and I'm missing it. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. And now over here, guys, I found another small section. And it looks like they actually have some decent stuff, like this brand new Mickey and Friends Daisy Duck. Actually, the first time we've ever got a normal Daisy figure. So yeah, I am definitely going to be getting... Well, actually, hold on. Mm, I bought the eight pack already. Okay, I'm not... I, I know I said I'm gonna be getting this. I'm not gonna be getting it because they came up with an eight pack that was exclusive to the Funko shop and I did order that. I have to be smart about these. Oh, uh, Nate, what did you, um, I didn't see that one there. I, uh, the hush are, you, are you thinking of getting this one? Because I, I'm, I might have to, might have to take that off your hands, right? Oh, oh, there's two. Oh no, we're good, we're good, we're good. Thanks, Nate. <laughs> Okay, so I got my stuff over at Sunrise Records. Now, let's go into GameStop. All right, so here we are, guys, and it looks like they have some okay stuff, like Dolph Starbeam, as well as Proxy, some of the U2 ones, Patrice Bergeron, oh, as well as Bullet Train. This is actually probably the newest thing they've got here. Have you seen Bullet Train, Nate, by any chance? I've seen clips. Okay. the whole movie, but clips. I haven't either. But I do know this is the first time we're ever getting Bad Bunny as a Funko Pop, and people are super excited about that, and it doesn't seem like he's here. I'm guessing if he was, he probably would've went pretty quick. The only thing, though, I'm thinking, if I were to pick up something, would be a She-Hole, because I still need that chase, but like, I got some sodas earlier. Do I even bother? Do I try? It could, mm, yeah, why not? And now, guys, I also decided to check the U2s, and I ran into a brand new Woe Crash. Gotta get him, too. Okay, so I got my stuff over at GameStop, and now let's go into Showtime. And now, as soon as we came in, guys, I noticed the Vecna Pop Plush. It's an interesting one. And over here in the cabinet, I'm noticing some pretty interesting stuff, like Black Adam, as well as some of the new Pokemon, like, or the newest wave of Pokemon, I guess you could say, like Piplup. And then we've got Black Manta, and then the original Darth Vader. And also down here, I'm noticing, guys, they've got the 8-bit Shredder, which could be good. You know, maybe I could get the tallest tower with him. The 8-bit ones do pretty well with them. And then over here, I'm noticing some U2 ones, In Sync, Captain Marvel. I guess let's check the outside, and then we should be good, because really, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, not seeing too much that I'm looking for today. And then here on the outside, it looks like they have some other stuff, but very similar to the last time I was here, but still some cool figures to check out, just nothing that I'm really on the hunt for. So now, let's go to Walmart. And now I'm guessing it's not going to be anything promising, but... Wait, what did you say? Sorry? Never mind. You were asking about a pop? I was asking you about Black Panther pops. I thought I saw it. I... Oh, no, 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 no. And it looks like it's pretty much the same as last time. I mean, they got the Liberty Chica plush, but... Uh, oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't think... Do I... 
Do I? I don't have this. And actually now taking a look at the back, the only one that I'd be missing now is Glitch Trap, so maybe it's around here somewhere, but I doubt it. All right, Nate, so we're back, and I want to start with the thing that we haven't told them about yet. No, you, I think, hoisted up a bag and suggested that was about it, but we haven't said anything about it. I said it came from a questionable store as well, like I couldn't film in there, I don't think. Yeah, the... The topics weren't very, uh, of the store were not very family friendly, let's say. No, it didn't fit with the channel, but yeah. I went in there and I found it like towards the back and I'm guessing that's why it was still there. And I'm pretty excited about this. I got this entire thing for $30 and instead of just building it up, I think we'll just show it off. Yeah. But uh, this here is something that I'm almost, one more thing. I'm kind of considering it like a time capsule. It's very old. Yes. And 2010 and it looks like it's been there since then and it's just been getting cheaper and cheaper because yeah. probably nobody even knew it was there but anyways the thing that we got was check this out guys a like almost like display that you would see for pops yeah. but it is the original uh, well i guess like they're not called pop plushies these were just called plushies because they released before funko pops did so the cool thing about these is they're, they're still in the bag that they came in like, yeah originally then that's pretty awesome and also if you look at the figures it's almost like a Funko Pop, but in a plush form, I guess. Yeah, and with this one here, I noticed the bag was open a little bit, so we could take out the Superman if you guys want to take a look. And actually, I talked about this in, I believe it was a short a little while ago that I made on the channel, and how DC originally wanted them to be plush, but then Funko thought they would do better as figures, so they took all of the original ones and turned them into the Funko Force ones that you see here in these kind of like clamshells. And so that's why a lot of these look very, very similar to the Pops. They kind of yeah. just took what was a plush, and translated it over to a figure and I thought it was really cool that we found this kind of like essentially mm -hmm. a time capsule and if you take a look at this too the entire box is covered with this logo here which has the superhero as well as plushies and Funko one. So yeah if, even if you look at the packaging here it says I believe right there where it's crossed out. It used to be $20 it, it used I think. to be I think it says $12.99 okay and then they marked it down to $9.99 yes and then it marked it down again to about five dollars yeah and then i said to the lady if i bought all of them could i have the container and she said sure and i think i'll get everything for i think it was like 35 bucks with tax 30 dollars yeah and there's how many plushies in here one two three four five six seven, seven. so so she might have even give me a better deal i think she probably just wanted to get rid of them at i this know rate. i mean they've been there since what 2010 probably yeah, so good complain. to get them out of the store and now the next store we're going to be taking a look at is gamestop and this is a mix of both gamestops yeah, that we were, went there to were two gamestops today one was from the our regular mall in st Catharines, and then the other one was, was the uh, farther one, was the farther which one. was definitely interesting. And I guess we'll start with this here, the one that I got at the first one. Mm -hmm. um, it was the Naruto YouTube. So I was actually pretty excited about yeah. this because I know they were supposed to be shipping soon on the website. I don't know if people have been getting them in yet, but then to find this one over at GameStop and then also the plush. And then we also found um, the Whoa Crash, which I believe is in here as well. I'll show you guys that in a second. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just found it kind of cool because I, yeah. I didn't expect to see them. And now we're not going to go too into detail, but I do think it's really cool that all of the quotes have to do with ramen and then when you take it out i don't know if it's one or two pieces uh, like maybe the table's connected oh no, no it's separate it is two pieces so you can display them separately that's cool yeah that's neat and i know there are a couple other characters so maybe if you wanted to put it like more in the center mm -hmm. of all of them that could be cool and then you do have naruto with the ramen in his hand i believe you could slide them right under yeah okay that i mean i gotta say it looks pretty great no nate i gotta ask have you played crash bandicoot i have not i was a playstation kid so okay it's one of those games you think I would have played, but yeah, I like, never I, really got around to it. I was going to say, I think Noah and I, we got the PS3, never got it. Yeah, I, I had a lot of other games, but like most of the games that I played were like Sackboy and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Never did get into a Crash Bandicoot. I was more of a Ratchet and Clank kind of kid, mm, I feel like. But that's a good still, one. still, uh, let's see the figure in this one. Yeah, this one's great. And I also have a funny story to go along with this one, because this meme was actually created by somebody random online. I don't actually know their name. Mm -hmm. And they were kind of mad that YouTube was turning this into a figure. And I think he wanted like some percentage on each figure, the, and I was like, you didn't yeah, make Crash. The funny, yeah, the funny part is that he doesn't own the IP of the figure. It's just he. No. You know. And I'm pretty sure. I, like, here's the thing. This, this, I'm not 100 on, but I'm pretty sure he makes this exact face in the game. The guy just kind of like coined the meme by turning it into kind yeah. of like you know one of those. What do they call them? Almost like a poly of him or whatever it is. Uh, still, of him or still or something yeah. like that. So it is kind of funny that he was trying to get. It. And I guess you know the meme's so old. Maybe he's just yeah. trying to make a little bit off of it still. But uh, yeah, definitely a really, really cool figure. And I'm so glad that I was able to get this one because very similar to the plush and Naruto, mm. I did not expect to see it today. And hold on, before we continue on to the next thing, I just really enjoyed the quote they put on the side here. I'm here, let me see if I can... Whoa! 
Wowzers, that is wild. Didn't and then, see that one coming. And also on the back, they did put a kind of a sad version of Crash. He's, well, anyways, you guys can see him there. Okay, so next up, I believe. Well, we hold have... on, we've got two things in here. Okay. Do you want to do the pop or the soda? I let's do the soda because it's only one. Okay. Let's okay. Get okay. that out of the way. Now this is the She-Hulk soda, and now. Just to ask you about it, you don't have to chase, do you? I do not. I already right. have a couple She-Hulks. And I figured that's why we got only one of these. Well, they only had one in the store. That's true, too. Otherwise, I would have bought both. But I knew you were tempted. You were on the fence about getting it in the first place. I know, because I've opened up now, this will be my, I believe, six. Yeah, and that's why. Do you want to take, okay, do you want to take a look in the bottom, or do you want to take it? Do you want me to look, or you look? I'll look, because okay. this is kind of your thing. Sure. So don't, uh, da, da, da. I'm not gonna look, I'm not gonna look, I'm not looking, I'm not looking, I'm not looking, I'm not looking, I'm not looking. Well, it's definitely gonna be a She-Hulk. Uh, that's for sure. You're saying it like it's not a chase. Well, Tristan, I would, uh... uh why do I even bother with She-Hulk anymore? Rats. I guess... You know, maybe this is the, the day we call it, and yeah, she maybe, maybe she -Hulk she -Hulk's chase dreams die today. I feel like it, because I don't know. Maybe if I see another single one at a GameStop, but the problem is, <laughs> I feel like, because there's a bunch of GameStops around us, yeah. they've shipped like one to every location, and mm. then you're going to have to like slowly find it, and I've gotten two out of the six so far, mm. so maybe... No, it is a nice maybe. figure. Well, we'll Still try, a nice soda. We'll try to hype it up and be like, it is a cool soda, and it, like the yeah. design and the, and the modeling on the it is mm. nice, but now, is, do, hold on. Do you know what the chase is? is Were you able to ask that? Like metallic? It is metallic. I wish it was a Jennifer Walters though. That, that would, would have been be, really cool. That'd be ten like, times cooler. Like completely different. Yeah, like her in her lawyer suit. Uh huh. That'd yeah. be perfect. Or even like She Hulk as a lawyer, like from the show. Which yeah, wear, yeah, like, yeah. Her, like her just suit. even make it a little bit more yeah. similar. They could have used the same head and stuff like mm -hmm. that, just a different body. But uh, yeah, it's a metallic version. I think the hair's metallic. The suit's metallic. And we definitely did not get that today. And now with the GameStop stuff, we kind of saved the best till last. Yeah, now these are more your forte. They yes. Got some pretty good pops there. I, I think, well, we got one pop, and it was a really good one. That's what it was. Do you know which one it is? The Chase Yeah. Bear. Oh, we spoiled it a bit. Okay, okay, well, anyways, guys, it is the Chase Wish Bear. Yeah, and now we got this one at the checkout. We were checking out with the YouTube. They had to be on the counter. Didn't even the see soda. it. And as we're ringing up, they just were like, hey, we have this flock Chase, Care Bear. would and, you like it? And obviously, I think... Everyone knows the answer. We, we, we of course, we of course, we of course. And the funny thing is, I actually have gotten all of the chases from GameStop. They seem to be getting in a bunch of them recently, so it's been really nice. Yeah. Every single one of them also has a chase for this new set, or at least most of them. And uh, the ones here that now that I'm looking at it, we've got so Champ Bear is the one that I'm missing, but I have the chase for now. Wish Bear, True Heart Bear, and Carolot Bear. So the only one I'm missing, well, there's two that I'm missing actually. Sorry, Hopeful Heart Bear and Champ Bear. Nice. Champ Bear's flocked. I'm really hoping I can get that yeah, one because it looks pretty what's cool. What's Hopeful Heart Bear? I think it might be flocked, or it's kind of like this clear, translucent, same as uh, with glitter, very similar to the other two. That true I have. Heart Bear. I think so. Okay. I'd have to look at that one. If I can find it, I'll pop it on the screen for you guys because I really am curious, and that way you guys know too. Now so the next... Oh, you, you did it. Anyway, I'm keeping that in. Next up, guys, we've got Tis the Minis. And we ended up getting, I think, two things while I was there. I did end up getting a Pokemon card. It was the movie Pikachu problem. Yeah, the older like Pokemon movie Pikachu problem. Might have been the first movie, too. Honestly, I didn't check, but I'll take the word for it. I know. So we'll pop it on the screen if you guys want to check it out. That's the one there. I don't have it with me. I already put it in my binder, so I wouldn't mm. wreck it. And we but, actually had a really awesome time going to the store. There was yeah, a lot of you cool, want to talk like, about it a bit. Yeah, there was a lot of cool like models in there, like different model kits for like Star Wars or cars or even like Gundams. Mm -hmm. And uh, Noah, actually, well, I got Noah for Christmas. There was some cool, like a cool Garchomp Pokemon model. Yeah, that was really neat. So like there was a lot of stuff like that. And then obviously it was a big Warhammer store, actually. I don't know if... We I try. See, here's the thing. I don't think I showed very much of the store. Yeah. I was kind of just looking in the pops as well as the model section. Mm. But that was like what? Maybe like not even a tenth of the store. Oh, the like store there was, was way more. Yeah, when we went in from the just the storefront alone, it didn't look very big, but it was it was a massive store. Oh, I, I, it was so crazy. So much cool stuff in there in terms of like collectibles. A little bit of something for everybody. Yeah, I like that a lot. And then if you guys want to check out what we ended up grabbing, so <laughs> this one here, uh, Hansel was a pretty funny one from Zoolander. Yeah. Um, I actually I remember when they first came out, and the only one that I ever got for my collection was Mugatu as the there was a normal one and then a chase of him with his dog yeah that's pretty cool but um this one here I don't know I didn't know the movie too well so I never did end up grabbing them but then they've yeah. been a pretty big meme on TikTok yeah. recently and I, I found them kind of funny I've seen both Zoolander movies the second one not so good but the first one was a great it right. was, was the second movie. one with like Justin Bieber in it and stuff like that too? there was a bunch of other stuff it, it was yeah. it's one of those ones where they do a sequel late but anyways yeah the first movie was <laughs> awesome and uh, obviously Hansel is the other model in the movie yes. with Derek Zoolander so I thought they were pretty funny yeah. if I saw Derek I definitely would have got oh, them it would be a great two together you know, yeah. but uh yeah this was definitely cool especially him with his wings on no shirt 
Kind of a weird one. And then the next thing that I got was the model kit that you talked about earlier. It's actually a gift yeah. from my dad. I don't want to talk too loud about this one. So let me just show you guys quickly. Because what had happened was I had picked up something. Well, actually, my friend Alejandro had helped me out with it. Um, he was able to get something from the actual Coliseum where they, uh, the Islanders play. So nobody tell him any of this, please. I know the video is coming out like, what does it be, Thursday? So we've got a couple I mean, days till right Christmas Right before still. Christmas, but I know. just got to hold the secret a little I know, just long. a little bit. So if anybody uh, from my dad's class sees this, don't. Don't tell him anything, please. <laughs> and anyway, so we got him that, and then I also ended up grabbing him this today because I had never seen these before. Yeah, and I knew it was we were we were bickering between two different models. It was either this one, which is the Boba Fett from the original trilogy, right? Or there was General Grievous, and we right. figured just based on I know your dad is a big OG trilogy. Yeah, guy, that's true. I figured the Boba Fett was the better of the two. So this one will definitely be fun. He's a big fan of puzzles as well as like I've given him I've given him a couple Lego sets in the yeah, past. Definitely. So, mm -hmm. He's yeah. not a guy who I think likes to collect stuff, but he likes putting stuff together in the right. puzzle act. And so this could take a little while, it'd be fun. And once mm -hmm. you put it together, it does make a really cool Boba mm -hmm. Fett. So maybe he'd want to put it on his desk or something like that. I'm not exactly sure. But whatever it was, and it wasn't even that expensive. I think because you do have to build it, it was only about forty bucks. Yeah, it's not that, like honestly, like, there was a lot of different ones of these two throughout the store. So it was, mm -hmm. it was cool to find this one. Yeah, definitely neat. Now, Nate. Here we've got this bag, the Sunrise Records, but also, you know what I just thought about? There was supposed to be this thing here in Ontario where they're supposed to have paper bags for everything. Yeah. They now, did here, but over at Toys R Us, I don't know what's going seems, on. They do not. It seems like it's one of those things where it's... Maybe it's, it's like they're there. slowly picking yeah, up. Anyways, definitely. anyways, I don't want to call anybody out for that. I just did find it kind of funny because they did switch mm -hmm. over and I noticed. But a lot of other stores did. Never mind, never mind. Anyways, let's get into this here. So I've got the stuff that I picked up over at Walmart in here because they're kind of like right next to each they other. They're next to here and there was only one yeah. thing we really picked up. Which so, was... you know what's kind of funny? We got Grim Foxy, which was pretty cool. And I do like this one mm -hmm. a lot. Especially because now, with this one here, the only one that I'm missing, and I talked about it while we were there, is Glitch Trap. And actually, now that I think about it, uh, I'm looking over there. Okay, no, I got Jack O'Bonnie a little while while ago i do not have this one i was a little bit worried that i did but then again yeah. i could have kept it sealed given it away something like that we, we would have had fun with it even if i had two mm -hmm. but uh, yeah definitely cool so now i've got dread bear jacko bonnie and grim foxy and then like i mentioned we're just missing the one and then i did also get the pirate foxy which was exclusive to walmart i believe okay. i think it was walmart no no it was definitely walmart because that's pretty much where i've been finding all of these guys and now the rest of the stuff i got i know uh it's kind of a funny set of things because i got yeah. batman or hush from batman and this one is one there. really cool. It's a really cool figure. Yes. I like this one a lot, especially just considering the... Now, is this one from the graphic novel, or is this from um, another... I believe it's a graphic novel. I remember there was yeah. a Batman Hush I haven't read a lot it. of the comics in terms of this, no. but I've, I know most of my knowledge of Hush comes from, like, the Arkham games. But mm -hmm. still, honestly, this figure is really awesome. And there's another one that I am on the hunt for, and I know Noah really wanted it, where he split down the middle, where it's, like, half Batman mask, half Hush. Oh, that's really cool. And I'm hoping I can get that one eventually. And I was going to try to get that one for Noah for Christmas. I couldn't. I had to get him. Ooh, actually... He's editing this video, so we're going to skip on talking about that for now. You know what, Nate? I'm going to be honest. I'm glad I caught myself there because even if we get to cut this out of the video, he's still watching the raw footage. Oh, he's going to see all this. He would have seen everything. So anyways, let's get into the Bella Port stuff that I picked up because I did end up grabbing, I believe now I have every single one of her figures. So we've got this one here of her sitting, and then I also ended up grabbing, I mean, I literally got all Wait. of them. Yeah, that one's, yeah. honestly, I didn't even know she had a full album, so. No, I don't know if she, <sighs> I'm, I'm going to be honest, I don't know if she does either, or if this is just the art that they used for their build, their singles, uh, build a bear, I want to say build a bear, we're going to go with bear. Build, bear. build a, build a, build a, build a, build a, build a porch, build a bella porch, I'm trying to think of a better word to use. Anyways, but you guys know what I mean. Um, but there it is right there, guys. I thought this one was pretty cool, especially because it does have, like, the alpaca in her hair. Mm -hmm. And I know she does have the plush alpacas yeah. in her videos all the time. So that was kind of neat. And I wanted to get the entire collection so I could do, like, a fun little video with them in the future, if you guys want to see that. Probably a short or something like yeah, that. Just because it's, like, a quick, that. like three or four figures. Mm -hmm. I thought that'd be Something fun. cool. Mm -hmm. For sure. And then everybody, the last store that we got something at was of course Toys R Us. And I guess I'll show you this, then we'll get into all of the sodas. But uh, yeah, we ended up getting the, I know, I know, I ended up grabbing the Sabal, but it was, yeah, $27, which honestly is crazy for these because I remember they so were 25 much. for a while. It's just so much for what you're getting, I find. Now the pins look good. I'm not going yeah, to nice. say that they're not good, but like, Compared to like, you're getting $25, $27 for this compared to what you can get a well, pop for $15 now. Yeah, and a soda. I mean, the sodas are a little more expensive too. They're like the $20. Sodas are the packaging you're paying a little bit more for. Yeah, and the, the mystery, the, the yeah. limited edition ness of it. So this mm -hmm. here is like, ah, 
Yeah, whatever. It's a tough ask, I feel like, for some for some people to come around and just try to collect all of these. Like, yeah. Get it. They have chases for these, too. If they do, they do. So that's cool, but still, like, it just seems like a lot for a, a pin, in all fairness. And I will say, I get ordering it online if it's got a chase, mm. but if you're getting it in stores and you know you're not going to get a chase because it's literally right there in front of you, it just doesn't really make sense. But then again, they only make, like, you know, three or four per set sometimes, yeah. so it's not that, that crazy. If they went under, like, you know, the amount they do for normal pops, I probably wouldn't continue to collect them, but because I only need, like, I think two more for this set, then I've got them all, I might as well get them on a can. And speaking of cans... Speaking of cans, we I got did. a good amount today. Okay, so... Now, there was a little funny story at the checkout. I, I did mention it earlier. So you can tell it if there you was want. only You're only allowed to buy, I think, for the Slimers, because they were new, or was it the Aerial? I think it was, it was either the Slimer or the Aerial that I were think new. it was Slimer. I think it was Slimer. You were only allowed to buy one per person, so we <laughs> each did an individual purchase of three. So what happened was, while I was picking my three, Tristan got wanted to get two Huckleberry Hounds, but I decided to yeah. get a C-3PO. Well, because here's the thing, though. I do want to get the chase for both of these, so maybe we got lucky and both of these are the mm. chases. I don't know. I or don't know. two does. We don't know. Well, well, well hold on, hold on. <laughs> we, well, you got to be optimistic today, especially because of how well we've done with you getting some amazing Pokemon cards. I was going to say, I've done pretty good today, and I you've know. had some good chase luck in the last couple of days. I know, and we got the Chase Care Bear today. Also, mm. if you guys don't know, Nate opened up Pokemon cards before because, of course, you were going everywhere, and... I was mostly yeah. up for cars today, and I had a... I had a great day in terms of pulls. Well, hold on. Well, while we're chatting about it, let's start to crack open the sodas. Let's do the Huckleberry Hound and I'll do the Sea Sure, sure, sure. Sounds good. So, well, yeah, I, I mean, the first store that we went to really was amazing. They oh, had some great awesome. stuff there. There wasn't too, too much that we picked up. I picked up well, you a, got full, the booster box, a full too. booster box of Astral Radiance, which mm -hmm. is just a set I'm, I'm dipping my toes into now. Yeah, I know, I know. It's new. But um, I ended up getting the Machamp. Oh, this almost feels... Well, it's, it's oh, just... It, the only thing that's different is the arm, I believe, is red. Oh! Yes! Wow. Yes! Wow, that's awesome. Oh, finally! Here, let me wow. move these guys so out of the way. It was a good call. Okay, now hold on. Now we gotta see if the Huckleberry Hound is the chase. Oh, man, oh, man. Okay, wow. Before we do that, wow. Oh, my gosh. Okay, yeah, that is exciting. So, I believe that was now four C-3PO's I've opened. This is the fifth, and we got the chase. Definitely cool. Especially because I have so many with the silver leg to have one with the red arm. Mm -hmm. It's just one more done for my Star Wars collection. And I am trying to get every single one of them. Yeah. So this is, I mean, this is great. Nate, you know what? I was, I was going to say, I'm a little bit sad that you got that one, but I am not complaining now. And I guess we can check the pog out here too. So it's obviously says, you found the chase C-3PO with red arm. Yeah. One out of 1600. Wow. So that's pretty cool. And it obviously has the white background because the world, the global sodas. Yeah, they have swap the colors, which is weird. I don't know why they do it, but I guess it's to like differentiate mm. the two so that way you know if you've got them in your collection or not. Okay. But yeah, definitely. So, me. Huckleberry Hound? Yes. Two I'm for hoping. Two? I, so, the chase colors are just, he's not completely blue. He's not completely blue. Yeah. He's completely he's blue. He's completely blue. Wait, he is, but he's blue. His. Mouth looks a little no, less no, it's orange. the same, it's the same. It's I think I'm just trying to make stuff up to I know. make us feel better. It is definitely the normal mm. Huckleberry Hound, and I guess it's good. Maybe the other one would have been a chase, but then again, we don't know. Yeah, I mean, so. it's hard to tell, because what is it? One in every six is a chase? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, hey, I'll take the one, though. Oh, and actually, we didn't even mention it. What was the good card that you got from I Pokemon? got the Machamp Full Art from Astral Radiance, which... Yes is the most expensive card in the set so i was ecstatic when well I it was that. funny because i he i heard him squeal he screamed it was it was exciting i screamed that was <laughs> it's one of the best cards i think i've pulled in a long long time if not ever uh yeah yeah, yeah. and earlier in the day i pulled the the secret rare giratina from lost origins i know was it was crazy card. like was the amount little, of stuff that you got today really was, was quite an exciting day yeah, yeah it was nice okay so ariel's chase so is, this one here is completely oh. blue okay did so, you just look at the bottom you looked at the bottom i saw video. a reflection i don't know what i'm supposed to can i look before you do it sure okay i see red hair okay so the blue pog oh but you got the chase pog you found the chase translucent aerial, but I but it's not, not a trans because the translucent aerial is completely blue. I saw you look down and it was blue. Probably I saw a bright blue reflection. In look the at this, guys. Huh? So it says you found the chase translucent aerial on the other side, but you definitely got the normal one. And I'm looking in mine right now. Okay, hold on. Mine was also blue. I could see like a reflection of blue on the inside of the can, so I want to check. What? I haven't opened mine up in yet. What? Let's hope. What? This okay. is really weird. This better be the chase. Right? Like... No! Oh, what? It's a normal aerial. Like, I've seen the chase. It is like a complete, like, translucent... Yeah. Like, the whole character's blue. It's what not like the... a glow-in-the-dark or something what? like that. 
That's wild. Oh. So two chase pogs and no chase sodas. I would love to know what the rest of that case looked like. You know? Did, like, we, get a mis- did we get a misprint then, maybe? Maybe. Or maybe because, like, but here in Canada, weird. they swapped the colors and it just happened to be accidentally the it chase didn't pog. change the, the printing on the back, maybe? But No, but the weird thing is, though, Why would too, it be blue? No, because, look, it's got the international logo. Why would it be blue? I don't know. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna ask this. If anybody has ever had this happen before, let me know. Was it an international can yeah, it, or maybe I think a normal it, what one? We've literally said before on the international can that the colors are swapped. Right, but you but would think that they, they would don't swap the, the picture, the, the picture or the printing. I'm in, I'm in shock. I know, and I don't need either of these. I have Ariel already, so it would have been nice. But at least, hey, we got this whole thing on camera. That's kind of cool. We it shows it's real. Hey. I'll take that. And everybody, I'm shaking the last ones because he's holding a hot dog in his hand for the chase. So I'm guessing he's a little bit wider. Oh, Ooh. you grabbed the what I thought was a wider thing. A wider so thing. So I'm going to let you go first. And now here's the thing. It could also just be the fact that there's more bubble wrap in there or it's like wrapped in a different way. Yeah. We always like to feel like really eyeball weights on these things. And we I end know. up getting... All right. I hope you get it because I really want to see that hot dog in his hand. I've opened up two of them already. Come on. You got it? He looks empty-handed. Yeah, there's no hot dog he there. He looks empty-handed. This is handed. now my third one. I don't need another one. <laughs> if you <laughs> want one, you can have them. I know. I, I Are you a Ghostbusters it. fan? I like the Ghostbusters movies. I, I, I do enjoy them. I think I've seen number one and two, and then there's a third one as well. I saw I like the, new, the, the one remake with Melissa McCarthy. That was pretty funny. Oh, and then okay. I haven't seen the new one with Paul Rudd. Though. That's the one I wanted to watch. Yeah. Uh, I, now, so I might be spoiling something for people where I believe, I I don't know if I mentioned I've you seen it. you spoiling it for me. No, but I don't know if I've mentioned that I've seen it or the fact that that I just have all the figures because yeah. they're somewhere up here in my movie section. Ah, uh, did I pretend like I saw it when they first came out? Maybe. No, I don't no. think I did. I think I got no, them before, before you open this. Okay, you want to look? Check the pog. I'm. Is it a normal one? Don't tell me it's a normal one. Don't tell me it's a normal one. We got another normal Slimer. Listen, Tristan, I, I know it's hard, but you'll get a chase eventually. Now, it'll come. It'll come. It'll it's come. just it's one of those things that's like, I wish we got it today. I wouldn't have to buy another Slimer. But uh, anyways, guys, that is pretty much everything for today. I hope you enjoyed this video because it was definitely different from my usual mm. hunt. We went to, I believe... Seven stores in total? Six, six, yeah. five or six, seven? And only two of them, or three of them, I guess, that we bought something at, I'd gone to before. Well, the mall kind of counts as like a couple different stores. Yeah. Yeah, but for the most there. part, new stores. Yeah, a lot of new stores that were a little bit farther out from us, so it was nice to check them out. Yeah, and if you guys want to see something like this in the future where we go to a store that we've never been to before, mm. we could definitely do that again because there is a couple other ones that we were looking at that we did not go to today. Mm. So, hey, if you want to see that, comment section below. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you tomorrow.